Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Sheen, your host. This is Money Matters. In this channel, we talk about money, finance, how to grow your money, how to invest your money, how to make money work hard for you. Guys, if you haven't yet already, consider subscribing, give me a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. Pushes my, my channel, pushes my video, my content to more and more people. I have over 3,500 subscribers and I think each and every one of you really humbles me that you find value in my content, find value in my hard work and my videos. So thank you guys very much. If you want to support the channel, consider using my links in the description below uh, for Cash App, Webull uh, and Robinhood. With Robinhood, you get one free stock. With Cash App, using my link, you get $5. I'll get $5, so it really helps out the channel. Webull, if you deposit $100, you'll get uh, two free stocks, uh, and that also supports my channel, supports my videos. So I appreciate it, guys. Thank you very much. We have two stocks to talk about today, so I'm going to try to keep it at 10 minutes. So let's get started. First one is Tesla. All time high, incredible, 1800 and uh, 1836 uh, closed at 1830, sorry, 1835 it closed at after hours up to 1836. Again, all time high. So about four weeks ago, I put out this video, Tesla, $2,400 in August. And uh, we are not that far away from $2,400, about $600 away now. And, uh, you know, just one more piece of good news to come out and, uh, my prediction will come true. Uh, so if this happens in the next couple of weeks, uh, if S&P 500 announcement comes out, you know, anytime in August, I fully believe that this stock will be in the $2,400 price range. Uh, so that news could come out literally any week, any day now. Uh, if it doesn't come out in, in August, it will definitely come out in September uh, combined with battery day. So without a doubt, uh, Battery day at the, at the end of uh, September, I think uh, September 22nd, uh, this stock will be at $2,400 uh, at least. So, you know, maybe I'm wrong. I was off by one month, uh, but <laughs> regardless, uh, it, I think it will be $2,400 when S&P announcement is made, whether it's this, uh, this month or next month uh, in combination with battery day. So uh, that was my prediction. And, you know, maybe I get it right in August. Uh, if not, we'll be getting there in September. Anyways, so... Uh, the five-day performance on this is roughly up 30%. So up 30% uh, since the announcement of the 5-1 stock split. Uh, just massive moves for you know a massive company, a massive stock already uh, at over $1,800. Uh, so you know these price movements for a stock this huge is, is just absolutely amazing. Uh, on a one-year time frame, this stock is up 700 or over 700%. So absolutely incredible how this stock is continuing to perform. So why is this, why is the stock moving? So after the stock, you know, the stock split announcement, that is one key, uh, but all these analysts are just updating their numbers. Uh, and I don't read much into these analyst numbers. It's uh, so these stock analysts, basically uh, they see the stock going up and then they update their price target. And it's, it's like, what is the point? I mean, the stock already went up. So, so you're just chasing the stock is basically what they're doing. So anyways, uh, so Wed Bush, they, uh, Pop, they popped up their uh, stock target to $1,900, uh, and so shares of, shares of Tesla inched higher into record territory on Monday after Wedbush Securities analyst Dan Ives raised his one-year price target on the electric uh, car and battery maker, citing that he sees ongoing demand for Tesla cars in China. So there it is. Uh, you know, uh, any upgrade, any news, uh, it tends to pop the stock, and you know, that has been that has been happening. Also, Merrill Lynch just uh, I think last week uh, upgraded uh, stock from from a hold from sell to a hold, uh, and they're citing unlimited access to low cost capital. Uh, Merrill Lynch's analyst John Murphy also ramped up the stock's price target to seventeen fifty from eight hundred dollars. Uh, the analyst also added that Tesla's unlimited access to low-cost capital should accelerate its revenue growth to 50% annually over the next five years. So 50%, if you guys have been watching my videos, watching my live chat, I've been saying this over and over, 50%, 40 to 50% compound annual growth rate expected for Tesla. And I've said over and over in my videos, in my, when a lot of people ask me, what do you think about NEO? What do you think about you know, other EV manufacturers? And I always respond, what I think about it is, Tesla is still king. Tesla has so much room to grow. They're expected to grow 50% compound annual growth rate. That is massive for a massive company like this to grow 50% continuously uh, for the next four to five years. That is still massive. So why would I invest in a number two player, uh, wh whoever that is, let's just say it's Neo. I don't know if that's true, uh, but let's just say whatever the number two player is, why am I going to invest in a number two player when the number one player, undoubtedly the number one player still has a compound annual growth rate of 40 to 50%, still uh, building factories in three continents, uh, still ramping up Model Y production, still has Cybertruck uh, to come out, still have semi-truck to come out, still have uh, the new Model S to come out, possibly the Model 3. 
uh, sorry, possibly the Model X, a new Model X, possibly the Roadster, like all these products. And even uh, the, I think the, the king, the killer of basically all gas vehicles is not even announced. And that is the Tesla Model 2, uh, where they're going to probably hit a price point in the $20,000 range. Uh, and to me, that's just a game over situation. That's end game, uh, you know, a Tesla at a $20,000 price range. So all this is in Tesla's future. So why would I invest in a number two player when number one still has all this growth? So that's what I keep on saying in all my videos, uh, in my live stream. So, uh, and you know, Elon Musk has said this in his conference call. And so he was asked this question. Uh, basically the question is this, you know, do you still expect this 50% compound annual growth rate? And he answers, here's his answer. Well, it's always difficult to predict a macro situation, what the macro situation is going to be. I think very few people would have predicted the unexpected roundhouse uh, that the illness 19 came uh, up with. It sort of came out of nowhere. So I think in the absence of something, some massive uh, force major event, but quite massive, I think 50% is the likely number. It's possible that it's 40%. I would be very shocked if it's less than 40%, uh, even with major with a major force short of World War III. So there you go. Uh, the CEO has said he's expecting 40 to 50% compound annual growth rate, and that is backed up by some analysts ex also expecting 40 to 50% compound annual growth rate. So uh, I will show you my personal portfolio, uh, my public portfolio that I share with all you guys, my position on Tesla. Uh, but before I do that, uh, I'll just end with this clip right here. But I think that when you look at Tesla over the next two years and the fact that the Gigafactory in Berlin is moving along nicely and they've already started in Austin for the truck factory and another Gigafactory. And I think those will both be done in two years in producing vehicles. Tesla can more than double its size again and dominate the EV and energy industries over the next five years. So I think if you're a long-term investor, missing Tesla will be the greatest mistake you'll ever make. Missing Tesla will be the greatest mistake you'll ever make. It's like people that say, oh, I wish I bought into Amazon, uh, you know, 10 years ago. I wish I bought into Apple eight years ago. It's, it's the same thing that's happening right now. I think people five years from now, 10 years from now that don't buy in, uh, they're going to say, I wish I bought into Tesla five years ago, seven years ago. So uh, not financial advice, just my opinion. If anybody is looking to hold Tesla for the next three to five years, uh, it, to me, my personal opinion, not financial advice, it is a wise move. So here's my position on Tesla in my public portfolio that I share with you guys. Cost basis of $515. I am up 256%. All right. So next stock we're talking about today is Shell, Torches Acquisition, put out a video, I think yesterday or the day before, about you know what's going on with, with Shell, Helion. Uh, I did a review about the whole company. So if you haven't watched that video, check out that video. I have about three or four other videos that I put out like uh, four or five weeks ago uh, that basically goes over uh, the whole the whole business model, uh, their infrastructure, uh, you know, basically the whole story about Tortoise acquisition, the merger, uh, everything. If you haven't watched those videos, consider watching those videos. I'll put it in the description below. And all the information in those videos is still re relevant, even though that it's like four or five weeks later, it's still relevant today. So if you haven't watched that, consider watching that, put it in the description. So anyways, uh, Shell Tortoise, it is up to $27.44 uh, at the close of 12.23% today. Uh, and so this stock has been moving. It's been performing better than Tesla. The five-day performance on this is 36%. Uh, the one-year performance is 180%. Uh, so the five-day movement on this is, you know, better than Tesla. So why is Tortoise, why is uh, Helion moving? Basically, uh, the consensus is a lot of institutions are starting to buy in now. The merger is probably going to happen at the end of September, uh, and so it's just next month. So a lot of institutional investors are starting to pile in, and it's causing the stock to go up, and it's causing a lot of retail investors uh, to just pile in as, as well, uh, and just fear of missing out, FOMO. So... Uh, institutional buying seems to be the reason Shell gapped up today, especially as a large number of hedge funds have started increasing their position. For example, Cambridge Investment Research recently acquired uh, 21,000 shares valued at uh, 594,000 in the second quarter. Also, hedge fund Alberta Investment uh, Management increased its stakes uh, from 375,000 to 850,000 in the last quarter. Once the institutional buying news goes out, retail investors likely uh, react positively to buying Shell. 
So there you go. Basically, uh, institutions buying in and then retail investors are FOMOing it, uh, piling in, and that is uh, you know bumping up the stock price. Uh, but you know the stock price has been relatively stable. So here is the stock chart. Uh, so this is the chart, uh, basically the whole lifespan of uh, Shell Tortoise acquisition uh, from the $10 range uh, back in uh, the beginning of June. So in my opinion, I think it's going to trade into $22 to $28 price range uh, until the merger happens. Uh, so it is a pretty strong sign that because it has been trading, I believe, on Thursday, Friday, and today and Monday, uh, steadily going up. So that is a good sign. That means uh, there's not a lot of people that are just day trading this. Uh, they're they're holding on to it for a while. So there are more long-term investors in this. Uh, and that's why you don't get that, that crash after uh, after this initial pop. Uh, so that is a good sign. Uh, we will see if it breaks through this resistance. Again, I think the resistance is $28. Uh, and that resistance line was established uh, back in July, uh, where it was you know trading at the $27 price point. Uh, so that is where that re resistance line comes from. So here is my personal position. Uh, I have uh, roughly 65 share, uh, sorry, 65 warrants. I am up 30% on that, and I have 38 shares up 41% on the shares. So, guys, that is my video. That is the update, uh, basically on Tesla and on Tortoise acquisition, Helion. So, guys, consider subscribing if you haven't yet already. Give me a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. If you find any value in my content in my daily video, it really humbles me that you are watching. Consider subscribing. Thanks. Catch you in the next one. Peace.